Hey everyone, how are you? My name is Alex and welcome to my tutorial for how to build a fox pen. Now the foxes have been added to the 1.14 snapshots and can be tamed. We can start thinking about where they can live. This pen features a shelter, plenty of foliage, and a climbing structure for the foxes to play on. So let's get right into the tutorial. To build this fox pen, we're gonna need the following materials, stripped spruce wood, spruce stairs, spruce slabs, dark oak slabs, dark oak fences and dark oak fence gates, spruce trap doors, mossy cobblestone, podzel, large ferns, small ferns, mushrooms, and scaffolding. To start, we're going to need mossy cobble, dark oak fences and dark oak fence gates, and we're also going to need the podzel. So we're going to come over here to this big area that I've dug out, and we're going to do a 15 by 11 square with the mossy cobble. Now that that's done, we need to fill in this entire area here with the podzel. There we go. Now we'll come over to this corner right here and we will build fences all the way around our square. So you do need to allow a gap for two fence gates, which is something that I realized <laughs> right at this point. So uh, I quickly fixed that and it should be right about there. So now we're going to go around and we're going to extend some of the fence posts up by one. And we're going to leave a gap of four blocks in between each fence post. So as you can see, that's when I corrected my mistake. So anyways, we'll go around and continue building up our fence posts. And like I said before, there needs to be a gap of four between each fence post. Then we're gonna come over here, we're gonna grab our torches and we're gonna place torches on each one of the fence posts that we built up. So now we come over to this back corner, we'll count two in and one down. Again, that's two in, one down, and then place our spruce wood. So then we go over by three and we place another spruce wood, over by three again, and another spruce wood, and then over by three again with another spruce wood. So the back pillars will build up by four. And so they have to be four high. And then we come to the front pillars and we build them up by five. So they need to be five blocks high. So next we come over to the front pillars and we build a pillar across between them just like that. Then we're gonna come over to the sides and we're gonna build upside down stairs going across like this. And then we'll do right side up stairs just like that. And we're gonna repeat that for all of the walls except for the front. Now we're going to take our spruce slabs and we're going to build them directly underneath the right side up stairs that we just placed. And we're going to connect them up to create our floor, just like this. And then we're also going to build a row of them in between the front pillars. Next, we'll come inside our shelter. We'll delete each of these stairs like so and replace them with our spruce slabs. Next, we'll come behind our front pillars and we will build up some dark oak slabs just like that. Now this next part is kind of tricky, so follow along very closely. We're going to create our roof and we need to build across just like this, two rows. Then we're gonna come down one. 
one slab and we will build across like this then we're going to come down one more and build across like this then we come down one more and we build across like this and then we're going to come to each side and we're going to build out our roof so that it has a little bit of an overhang Now we will take our dark oak fences and build them all along the pillars starting at the front and also going on the sides but excluding the back. Now let's build the staircase, that way our foxes will be able to get into the shelter. So in order to place the spruce trapdoors, what you need to do is actually shift click. So we'll do one, two three, four, and then flip them up. And then we'll do one, two here, delete that one and flip that one up. And you'll have to dig yourself out at this point in order to get out of here and just replace the slab. But um, there you go, that is the front wall right there. Now let's place the dark oak fence gates up at top just for decoration and to make it look structurally sound. So now we're going to work on the decorative portion, and this is how I chose to decorate the fox pen, but you can decorate it however you like, whatever suits your needs, or you can do exactly what I'm doing in the video. So one thing I did forget too, that Podzel cannot be turned into grass paths. So that's um, why I grabbed the shovel and then paused for a moment because I was trying to um, right click on the Podzel to turn it into a grass path. So anyways, we are going to get the grass and we're going to put down the grass so that we can make our grass path. So if you like the way that I'm decorating this or if you have an idea for a better way to decorate this, then you're welcome to let me know in the comment section. I'm very curious about your ideas and what ways that you guys would approach this. So now we're just going to take all of our other decorative materials that we have over here, our ferns, and we'll get the mushrooms and we'll also get the scaffolding and place them around however we like and one thing that i also learned about the scaffolding is that you can't actually um you can jump on top of it but you can't shift on top of it so you'll basically fall through very slowly which i think is very interesting and i'm not sure exactly why the scaffolding does that but you can still shift click to put scaffolding on top of scaffolding I found that very interesting that Mojang designed it that way. So then I just went around and placed the mushrooms wherever I felt like placing them where I thought they would look good. It was kind of haphazard and random. And then I did the same thing with the ferns, just going around wherever I felt it would look good and just placed them basically wherever I wanted to and occasionally got stuck on a fence post as well. So um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun with this tutorial. I haven't made a tutorial for my channel in a really long time, so it felt really good to uh, make a tutorial again. So anyways, uh, before we leave off, we need to get our fox spawn eggs, and we need to put in our foxes now that they've got a home. So we'll stick one of you right in the shelter. Look at you, so cute peeking out. You're adorable. What a cutie. They're, they're really wonderfully designed, too, these foxes. I really like the way that they look. And I like the fact that they just naturally sit, too. They have wonderful behaviors. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then feel free to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. And hopefully in the future, I will be designing a panda pen as well. I think that would be a lot of fun to design a panda pen. So um, yeah, if you guys are interested in the panda pen, let me know in the comment section below. And anyways, uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time.